the whole region and South Sudan's international sponsors, the great powers, are, are waiting essentially to find out what will happen. Will Dr. Mashar return to Juba? When will he return to Juba? What are the conditions uh, attached to that? At the moment, Dr. Mashar, he's here holding court essentially in his uh, opposition headquarters, his kind of capital in exile in Pagak, a kind of bush encampment just over the border from Ethiopia. The world's media, international and regional dignitaries are all waiting for you at Juba Airport. When do you expect to arrive? I, in short, should be Saturday. But this is dependent on the airlift that is taking place at Gambela. Will your chief of staff go tomorrow? I'm hoping so. I, expect, I expected him to go today, this afternoon. Yeah. But apparently they're still having talks over types of armament that uh, we should take to you. That question over armaments and munitions, that haggling over the weaponry, do you have concerns for your own security when you go to Juba? That's not, really, it's not my concerns. Uh, this, there's, there's, there's lack of agreement over what types of armament that each party should have in Juba. Initially, we started by saying demilitarizing Juba. To us, demilitarizing Juba while uh, deploying the level of troops stipulated in the agreement uh, meant no heavy armament. And that includes tanks, uh, artillery, and all that. Uh, but after now, we, uh, Juba still has tanks and heavy, heavy artillery. All in all, we said, well, uh, it's best to go to Juba and sort out these things while the government is formed. Why do you think the Juba government have kept tanks, have kept artillery, have kept heavy weapons inside Juba? I don't know. That question should be asked to the president. Uh, and also the, the mediators, and the, who are now the guarantors of the peace agreement, I think it's time for them to come in and do something like an arbitration over this issue. Uh, what types of armament should be in Juba, not only in Juba, also other towns. Do you think we are looking at the last few days of the war, or will it continue? Currently the war is... The ceasefire has not held. Uh, I believe up to three days ago there was fighting. But all in all we decided Maybe my presence in Juba will stop the government from attacking, from attacking our troops. So, sorry, are you saying that the Juba government side are oh, being yes. the aggressors? Oh, yes, oh, yes, oh, yes. Uh, up to now, they, they, they don't recognize, or they don't accept the presence of SPLM IO forces. So according to Rick Mashar, he'll be flying to Juba on Saturday, hopefully. Uh, hopefully, we'll be flying with him. Uh, but after the past few days, it remains to be seen whether that will actually happen.